Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In a recent video, I showed how you can install Ubuntu alongside your Windows using the dual boot configuration. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to undo that, or better still, how you can remove Ubuntu from your PC and revert to running only Windows again without losing your data or applications. Now, as I explained in that video, oftentimes people install Ubuntu or some Linux distributions alongside Windows in order to complete some tasks over a specific period of time. Of course, you can also keep using both operating systems for as long as you want. But if your aim of installing Ubuntu alongside Windows was to use Ubuntu for some time to complete some tasks, then this video would come in handy in helping you remove Ubuntu from your Windows PC, save some time on booting by not having to go through the grub terminal each time to choose Windows from the list, and of course you will be able to recover back the disk space you allocated to Ubuntu or whichever Linux distribution you installed. And now without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, so there are two parts to it. One is removing the Linux operating system, which in my case is Ubuntu. Now this will remove all system files as well as any data I have on the Ubuntu. So definitely you should back up your files before proceeding with this process. The second part is to remove the grub bootloader. This is the initial screen that shows up each time you boot up from where you choose which of the two operating systems you want to run. You need to remove that as well. And just in case you're wondering which of the two you have to do first, it really doesn't matter. The Grub bootloader comes with your Ubuntu or any other Linux distribution you have installed alongside Windows. So removing the bootloader will automatically switch you back to Windows bootloader. So there wouldn't be such a case where you are unable to boot into your operating systems because you removed the Grub bootloader. And with that said, I will randomly start by removing the Ubuntu system files and data. To do that, I will log into my Windows from the Grub terminal. From the desktop, right click on the start menu and select disk management. You should see this disk management window pop up. Here you want to identify which partition has your Ubuntu or whichever Linux distribution you have installed along with Windows. And here is how you do that. Normally you would have at least two partitions. In some cases you may have three or four or even more partitions under disk zero. The number of partitions depend on how you earlier configured your drive during the installations. If you have two partitions like I have in my case, then automatically the first partition with the drive letter C would normally be the partition with your Windows, and the second partition would be for Ubuntu. So you only need to delete the second partition. As you can see here, the first partition has the system files, the boot files, all the other files, as well as the primary partition. So all files relevant to Windows are in this first partition. But if you have four partitions, usually the first two partitions which are labeled C and system reserved are your Windows partitions, while the last two partitions are for your Linux operating system. Now another way to identify which partition has your Ubuntu is to remember the amount of this space you allocated during the Ubuntu installation. In my case, I remember I allocated 50 GB, so obviously the second partition is for my Ubuntu. So here I will delete the second partition and extend the Windows partition. To do that, I will right click on the second partition and select delete volume from the options. Click yes on the dialog box and wait a bit for the process to complete. Now you will notice that it now says free space. If you have multiple partitions for Ubuntu, then you want to delete the second partition in the same manner. Next, you want to right click on it again and select delete partition. Then hit yes on the dialog box. It now changes to unallocated space. Now right click on the C partition, the partition with your windows and then select extend volume. You should then see this extend volume wizard here. Just hit next, next. 
and then finish. Wait a bit for the process to complete. And now you should have only one volume on your disk zero, meaning you have removed your Linux and reclaimed all the disk space back to Windows. The second part is to remove the grub bootloader. For that, you should go to your Windows Start menu, click on the power icon, then press and hold down your shift key and select restart. Now keep holding down the shift key until you see a blue screen like this. Here select troubleshoot, then advanced options. On the advanced options page, click on command prompt. And then here select your user account and then enter your password. Now you should open up this command line terminal. Here type the command boot rec space forward slash fix MBR as shown on the screen and hit enter. Now you should say the operation completed successfully. Then type the command boot rec space forward slash fix boot and hit enter. You should again say the operation completed successfully. Now type boot rec space scanos and hit enter. Obviously, this command scans all your disks to see if there are windows installed in any of them. And now this could take some time depending on the system specifications and the size and number of disks you have installed on your PC. After scanning, it will show you the Windows installations you have on your disk. In my case, it shows my Windows 10 installation. So now I'll go ahead and make it my primary boot OS by typing the command boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd as shown on the screen and hit enter. Wait for the process to complete. Then it asks whether you want to add it to your boot list. Now, if you have multiple Windows installations, it will give you all the available installations and the corresponding drives where they are stored. So at this point, if you would want to add all the installations to the boot list, then type A and hit enter to complete the process. Of course, A would also work if you have only a single Windows installation, like in my case. And then after that, type exit and hit enter to close the terminal. And that should be it. And now I have successfully removed all Ubuntu related files and I have my PC booting directly to Windows as it normally does. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.